Good evening, everyone. Good evening, IFNG and our Elite Intellect. Once again, we're on our free live IELTS class. And hello to everyone, to Mother D, okay, we're live Madam now. G, Sir M, Sir Manuel, and Madam Genji. Once again, so ito na naman po tayo with our very own and expect that uh, we will be in full energy tonight. So we, without further ado, everyone, let's all welcome our very own Mother D. Thank you so much, Mom Michelle. Live from the Mall of Asia Arena, it's the Bidi Bidi Filipinas Grand Coronation Night. Catriona Gray, Philippines! Aring, ayan na naman. <laughs> Hello, guys. Hello, everyone. Good evening, everyone. How's everybody doing? It's actually quite amazing to be here again. Wait, I nakalimutan mo si Trinidad and Tobago. Ah, yes. Diba? Trinidad and Tobago. Pakilala ka na. Go, introduce yourself. <laughs> <laughs> si Trinidad and Tobago ano so kasi ano um on South Sudan <laughs> Good evening everyone okay so welcome back my gosh the discussion has just started and my energy is way up there again okay so this evening we're going to be teaching you again guys here at IFNG the magic nine of listening okay this is one of our most coveted discussions when it comes to the listening examination because i'm going to be teaching you the magic nine hacks well let's not call it hacks but magic nine tricks okay that you may utilize on your listening examination to get that 9.0 or a perfect score okay but before that let me just say hello to <clears throat> our admins here ariana manuel my anak mom michelle mr am mom genji and of course our two other admins uh sir jeff and mom gladys mom gladys i'll see you soon girl <laughs> okay so guys let me just share this one but before while i'm sharing our video for tonight okay i wanted to answer a simple question okay do you think the listening okay do you think it is impossible to get a perfect score on the listening exam Okay, I want you to answer that question right there. Do you think it is impossible to get a perfect score on the listening exam? Okay, well, I'm sharing this one to our page, okay? All right, let me just um, uh, something this. Okay, so... Oh, oh. Anyare. Ano yun? Mapi malo ng mapi malo mara bigla sa English si. Oh, ano daw yun? Si Sir M. Si Mr. M ba yun? But no, hindi ako yun na. Sorry. Ano yun? Oh, merong ano may may chubichi ka ng ibang language. Hindi ako na. Sorry Sir M, minute na kita. Oh, hindi ako yun na kung yung bagbagam. Wait, I'm just going to post it just a minute, guys. Okay. All right, now I'm posting. Okay, so some say it's possible, okay? It is completely possible. Uh, it is actually possible for to get, okay, to get a 9.0 on the examination. Yes, guys, it is possible, okay? It is doable okay for you guys to get a 9.0 on the listening exam guys based on my experience as an IELTS expert for the past 12 years almost every time that a batch takes an examination there's like 10 students there who are able to amass a 9.0 on the listening and that's not a coincidence okay it's not a coincidence because one thing that you guys would need to remember is that on the listening examination as long as you know what you're doing and you're doing it systematically you are bound to get that perfect score on the listening examination okay i'm almost done posting okay here we go I forgot to copy the link again. <clears throat> All right. Okay, there we go. All right, so let me just say hello to our viewers on Facebook right now. <clears throat> okay, so for those of you here at Zoom, hello, how's everyone? Okay, this, this, this creature right here is going to be teaching you um, 
the listening concept for tonight. Okay, I'm back. All right. Ayan na, na-post ko na. Okay, so let's start with our discussion, guys. Okay? All right. Uh, Arabic. From Risha, haha. I have a colleague. She got 38 over 40, almost perfect. See? That's actually really good. Diba? One point na lang, 9.0 na yan. Diba? Update, we have 76 viewers on Facebook and we also have 61 participants at Zoom. Okay. <clears throat> And from Arwin R. Matias. Inya bagbagan na. Jackman amo, bagbagan na kiddi. Okay, and from Rodora Montemayor. Hello, Mama D. You look radiant today. Thank you so much. Radiant Skin brought to you by um, RDL Baby Face. Number three. Chari. <laughs> Okay. Hello, sir. Good evening from Ross Paranal. Hello, guys. Okay, so guys, please do share our discussion for tonight to your friends or your family or the people that you think will be in need of guidance when it comes to their listening examination on the aisle. So without further ado, let me share my screen to you guys as regards our discussion for tonight. Okay, so. All righty. So guys, if it's your first time to join us in our live discussions here at IFNG, and if it's your first time to see this co-reacher right here, I am pleased to meet you. My name is Clint Joseph Tyler, the founder and master lecturer of Elite Intellect IELTS OET and Clex and NMC Specialist in <laughs> Age. I am an IELTS expert for the past 12 years now, also known as your Mama Dragon, Mother Dragon, Mama D, Mother D, Mommy D. Okay, half Filipino, half Pating. <laughs> <laughs> Sir Joseph, why half Filipino, half pating? Because look at the illustration right there. I did this, okay? I was actually making like a cartoon version of myself. I was making a cartoon version of myself the other day. Um, and I was making the, 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 the post for our discussion for tonight at IFNG. Then I realized that I'm still a pating there. Even though the dimples I have. I don't it's there somewhere over the rainbow. Okay, guys. So, <clears throat> okay. Same drill. Everybody, please, if it's time to clap, clap. Okay? Kasi lahat ng papalakpak daw, papasa ngayong taon in Jesus' name. Okay, ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. Diba? Okay, pumalakpak ba? Talarki yung picture na yan. <laughs> Pati yung blush on. <laughs> okay, good job, guys. Okay. All right. So, oh, Mary Grace is watching. Hello, Ate Mary Grace. Girly, hello. Good evening, Janica Esteban, Zara Ramos, Jewel, Grace La Cruz. Okay, there we go, guys. Mga bata. <laughs> mga, mga bata here sumunod. <laughs> Di ba? Pasado agad sa IELTS yung mga baguettes. Di ba? Okay, finish the lyrics. Okay. <clears throat> I love you. Mm, I love you. You love me. Let's go out and kill Barney. Charing. <laughs> Parang mali yata yung cartoon sa naparood ko nung bata ako. Diba? <laughs> All right. <laughs> so, <clears throat> before we start, want to know a secret to success again. Okay, you know me, I love sharing the word of the Lord to you guys. Okay, what is the secret to success? Okay. The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Okay, that is from the book of Exodus 14, verse 14. Guys, knowing that if you have a lot of battles in life, whether that's a difficult situation on your end, okay, or if it's something that is insurmountable, okay, a goal that you think is insurmountable to you, one thing is for sure, okay? Know that the Lord will fight for you. Okay, so what a fun and blessed way to start our discussion for this evening. <laughs> Sabi ni Ariana, Barney ang baklang dinosaur. Okay, guys, so let us now learn the magic nine of listening through elite notes. Okay, so again, guys, for those of you who are not yet members of the group chat of IFNG, Okay, if it's your first time to join our live discussions here, our free live discussions here at IELTS Filipino Nurses Group, please do send a message to the admin so that you may be added onto the group chat of IELTS Filipino Nurses Group because after this one, okay, I will be sending you guys the copy of the handout that we're going to be making.
Baby, what do you do during your off? Huh? What do you do? Right now? No, if you're, uh, if you're off. Now? Mother? I think I was disconnected. <laughs> I think I was somehow disconnected. Hello, hello. Can you hear what me, guys? You? Yes, you're back, Mother G. Hello, okay, hello. I you're back. Okay, I'm so sorry. I think I was disconnected, guys. Okay, let's go back to our discussion, okay? All right. <clears throat> so let me reshare my screen. Okay, here we go. All right. So let's talk about the secrets, okay, that you may that you may apply when it comes to your listening examination. So this is the magic line for listening. Hello there. Hello, Pinky Myers. Hello, my love. Okay, so let's start with the first technique for tonight, okay? One thing that I always tell my students when it comes to listening examination is if you would want to get that perfect score on the test, okay, do you need to practice or do you need to calm down, okay? That's my first question for tonight. Do you need to practice or do you need to calm down? Basically, first technique for tonight is I would want you guys to expose yourself with listening materials, okay? So first technique is to expose yourself. Okay, this one is way too thick. <clears throat> okay, <clears throat> so expose yourself to listening materials. All right, so if you have an institution, guys, okay? If you have an institution, what I would want you to do is to do the practice test, okay? Hello, Mom Gladys. Hello, how's she, girl? <laughs> I'm ready. Okay, <clears throat> so you would need to expose yourself to the listening, uh, or to the listening materials that your institutions give you, okay? Or you may also find listening materials online, okay? Sir, what happens if I am practicing? Am I getting good at it? No, okay? This is to ensure that you are used, okay? You are used to the speed of the listening, okay? You are used to the speed of the listening, <clears throat> okay? Apart from that, guys, apart from getting used to the speed of the listening, another benefit of exposing yourself to the listening practices is, of course, you are getting used to the accents, okay? All right, you are getting used to the accents. One thing that I always tell my students, okay, is that it takes a lot of getting used to, okay? To get a perfect score on the listening takes a lot of getting used to, so, okay? You would need to get used to the face. You would need to get used to the accent. And guys, you will be lucky if um, from section one to section four, the accent that will be used on the listening would be the neutral accent. Yeah, you will be fortunate enough, okay? If you are, if you are on the listening examination and then the accent that will be used from section one to section four would be the neutral accent. Most likely than not on the examination, guys, okay? It, sometimes they do change the accents. And uh, the weakness of the non-native listeners is that <clears throat> they are not, sorry, guys, I have UTI. <clears throat> Excuse me. What's UTI, sir? Just an upper throat infection. <laughs> okay. The problem with some of the students is that they are not used to exposing themselves to different types of accents, okay? So do your practice test. Okay, you may also find free practice tests online. Even here at IFNG, they post listening and reading practice tests. Okay, so do your practice tests. <clears throat> okay, what else? Sir, I heard that I should be listening to English podcasts. Yes, okay. Listen to English podcasts. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, listen to English podcasts. There are a lot of podcasts right there which are in English, okay? Um, sir, why do I need to listen to English? Because on the examination, you will be listening to an English material. So if you're not used to listening to a conversation in English or to a delivery in English, then most likely on the exam, 
you might be lost, okay? So that's one thing that I always tell my students is to listen to English podcasts, okay? You also would need to um, watch English films. This is another technique, okay? Another thing that you could do is to play a listening exam. Okay, play a listening exam and just listen, okay? You're just going to listen to it. You're not going to answer anything. Basically, you're just going to listen to the listening examination. So, sir, what is, what, what is the benefit of that? Basically, you're getting used to the flow of the examination. You're, you get to observe the times with which the speaker is going to state an answer, okay? That is the magic of playing a listening test. You can go to YouTube, okay, and find a listening exam there and then play it without even answering it. Just listen to it. Okay, so that you get used to the pace of the examination. Okay, yeah, recommended teacher apps has a great variety of podcasts and it's free. BBC Learning English, TED Talks, Everyday English. Yeah, these are some, yeah, Everyday English is actually really good. Okay, these are the things that you would, you guys would need to listen to so that you are exposed to um, the accents, the flow, and you will get to observe um, how the how the how the answer is being delivered on the listening exam. Okay, you may also play with the speed of the listening. Okay, play with the speed. Okay, there are applications now that you may download and then load the MP3 file of the listening exam there, and then you try to make it faster. Okay, and then slower and then faster, okay? And that you play it first at a, at a normal rate and then you play it at a slow rate and then at a fast rate. What this does is you're teaching yourself on how to garner information from the material in itself so that when it's already required for you to pay attention to certain details, you are used to it, okay? The problem of the students on the exam is that it's not that they're deaf, okay? Hindi kayo bingi. Okay, you are not deaf on the examination. Basically, you just do not know how to pay attention to details on the listening test. Okay, so these are the things that you could do for you to expose yourself to the listening exam. Some of this podcast has transcripts so that you can get used to uh, the words and accents. Yes, that's actually true. The transcripts are also effective. Good evening, Cardi, my love. How are you? Okay, so first things first, expose yourself to listening. Don't expect that you're not going to listen right now, not even doing your mock examinations right before your test, and then you're going to get a 9.0. That's not going to happen, my love, okay? Yeah, better work, okay? Sabi nga ni Ate Ariana Grande, work, 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 Ate Rihanna pala, work, 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 Okay, <clears throat> so what is the second magic trick, okay, that I always teach my students on the IELTS examination? I want you to focus, okay? Spoke, focus on words or words that are spelt. And series of numbers. Okay, guys, okay? So why do I need to pay attention to words which are spelt, okay, or spelled? Okay, why do I need to pay attention to these, okay? Did you know that according, okay, according to the experiences of the experts when it comes to the IELTS, every time that something is spelled on the examination, automatically it is an answer, okay? These two are automatically answers, okay? These are automatically answers, okay? When, when, when you hear the recording spell something, okay? It is actually an answer, but be careful with some of the things, okay, or some of the words that or the letters that makes it difficult. I have experienced this listening before and I heard this the the the, the person said this one. And I know that some of you are familiar with this one too. <clears throat> right? Oh hi my name is Anner Anner Graves. 
anner. It's the intrusive R, okay, on the accent itself. But what she really meant by this one is her name is Anna. Okay, it's Anna Greaves. Okay, so guys, if that happens on the examination, don't worry, because the person that they're conversing to, okay, or conversing with, actually, the person that they're conversing with will say, okay, Anna, okay, for you to understand what they actually tried to say, okay? And also, sometimes this letter right here is pronounced as this one. It's an H, okay? It's a H. Okay, and also this one. It's not here in the Philippines or in another country, we pronounce this letter as a Z, right? Z for zebra, right? However, in another country, they do not pronounce it as a Z, they pronounce it as a Z. Okay, so I have an example. She said, my name is Kinchley. That's K I N C. H L E Y. Okay, so sometimes the speaker will, will pronounce it like that, right? My name is Kinchley. My last name is Kinchley. That's K I N C H L E Y. Okay, so sometimes they do pronounce the H, okay, with a as a H. Okay, how the bingy up is dunsa R, diba? Anner, Anner Greaves. I thought. Of uh, no, I thought of Britney. Ha, you better work. Tama tama ako sa accent, di ba? H, okay, di ba? Kung minsan yung zero, they're going to be pronouncing that as an O two. Okay, uh, that's a zero, right? They're going to be pronouncing it as an O, okay, on series of numbers, okay? So be extremely particular with this one, right? Let's say, oh, I saw a zebra. What's a zebra? Oh, how do you spell a zebra? Oh, it's actually a Z B Oh. A B R A. Okay, a zebra. Okay, so sometimes the speaker will say that, right? I saw a zebra. What's a zebra? How do you spell that? Oh, it's Z A B R A, right? Sequentially. Like to little Oh, what's your last name? It's Kinchley. How do you spell that? That's K Hi Hen C H Hell He Y. The Corona H lot. K Hi Hen C H Hell He Y. That's not the IELTS listening. My socket sa utak yan. Yes, water is pronounced as Wua. Wua. Okay, be careful with that, guys. Okay, Wua. Right? Get me a glass of water. Right? Or sometimes there is a there is a listening. Okay, she said she came from Bristol. Okay. Well, my location is actually Bristol. That's what she said. So if you're going to be writing down Bristol, okay. So they, don't worry, they're going to spell that. Bristol is Bristol. Okay, so there are a lot, okay? Sometimes they also call a truck a lorry. Okay, so be careful with that one too. All right, I already had experienced this, okay, on the listening. Uh, the answer is a truck, but she called it a lorry. Okay, a lorry, which is a truck, which is the British term for a truck, right? So you be careful with that one too. Deva, wua. Deva, get me a glass of wua. Deva. Do you want to be social? Don't pronounce your T's. Diba? Okay. Watching from Lanao del, H Lanao del Norte. Hello, Divina. Hello. How's everybody there? Okay. So yeah, if you're going to be exposed to the words which are spelt, you better be careful with the British language too or the Australian language. Apart from that, guys, series of numbers, you should be really good with memorizing numbers with just one statement, okay? Let's challenge those assumptions, okay? Go to the comment section right now and go to the chat box here. At, if you are at Zoom, go to the chat box, okay? And go to the comment section. I want you to type the series of numbers that I'm going to be writing down, that I'm going to be saying, okay? Ready? <clears throat> Watching from Taiwan. Hello, Helen. Helen M. Sanchez. Okay, ready? All right. Well, you may call me at 
Okay. Be careful with that. Okay. On the examination, they're going to be saying that. Okay. Double O. Okay. Which means that's zero, zero. Okay. So that is zero, zero, seven, three, zero, zero, one, two. Okay, be careful with that, okay, on the examination. Sir, I have a question. Do I need to put hyphens in between or spaces? One thing that you would need to remember, guys, is for numbers, okay, you are no longer required, okay? Do not hyphenate or do not put spaces between them. Okay, do not hyphenate and do not put spaces between them. That's a waste of time. As long as you got, um, as long as you got the answers correctly on the proper sequence, then to, then that's totally fine. Okay, do not put space, do not put spaces between them. Okay, all right. So be careful with memorizing or writing down series of numbers on the exam because it happens that sometimes there will be a lot of numbers also a combination of numbers and uh, numbers and letters okay ready okay <clears throat> watching from trinidad and tobago <laughs> how's everyone there miss trinidad and tobago <laughs> okay <clears throat> so let's say this one okay well i know my id number by heart that's Two two AD one three four five. What's the number? What's her ID number? Okay, there we go. Good job, guys. Good job. Okay, that is two two AD one two uh, one two four five. Okay. One, two, four, five. Uh, one, three, four, five, I think. That's what I said. I don't know if I said one, two, four, five or one, three, four, five. Okay, let's try again. <clears throat> oh, yes. I know my ID number. That's F-U-F-U-F-U-T-31002. Okay, that's F-U-T-31002. Okay, be careful with these ones. Okay, small things matter on the examination, guys. Okay, sometimes you would need to re really write down, okay, write down the series that they're going to be saying there. And be careful with the long and short, okay? Long and short technique, guys, very effective. Okay, so when do we apply long and short? Okay, here you go. We have uh, 13, 30, 14, 16, 13, 17, 70, 18, <clears throat> 80, 19, 90. Okay, be careful. The zero is longer, okay? The, the 13, one, three is shorter as compared to 30, okay? Well, there are 30 participants, okay? So 30 is three, zero. But about to that, young, there are 13 participants. So that's shorter, 13, 30, 13, 30, okay? So be careful with that on the examination. Sabi na eh, nabibingi ako. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, ready? Okay. Another thing that kills the dreams, okay, of most test takers on the exam is this one. I know it's pretty much self-explanatory, but I would want you guys to focus on the next tip that I'm going to give you, okay? I want you to be keen with instructions, okay? Tip number three is be keen with <clears throat> instructions, okay? On the examination, guys, it is technically true that if they said that the word limit is two words, then you better be writing down two words only, okay? You do not have to exceed the number of words, okay? So one thing <clears throat> that I always tell my students for them to remember the instructions is for you to encircle the instructions. Okay. 
All right. On the examination, I want you guys to encircle the instructions so as to ensure that you are remembering what the instruction is, okay? Cannot, multi cannot multitask. I believe lost touch. <laughs> okay, so you would need to encircle the instructions, guys, on the exam for you to remember it, okay? Be careful with the word limit, okay? Word limit is important. <clears throat> Okay, so if that's no more than three words, no more than two words, no more than a word, okay, or one word and a number, two words and a number, three words and a number, okay, the safest bet would be write no more than three words, okay. Will you be able to highlight the listening question task? Is it on the computer delivered test? There are programs which has the highlighting tool. Okay, that's two down. I got frosty with the drills. <laughs> Okay, but for 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 some of the for some of the softwares that they use right now, it's already mentioned on the familiarization with British Council, guys. If there are there are there are release really softwares now that which you can actually highlight or you can use the highlighting tool, okay? Pero sa iba unfortunately wala. So for the paper based test, you may encircle that. Kahit yung papel ng katabi mo bilugan mo, walang problema, okay? Be careful with the word limit, as well as of course, please be careful with your spelling. On the examination, sir, is it true that if I have misspelled a word on the exam, it's automatically wrong? What do you expect? It's an English test. Bakit alam mo yung katabi? Diba? Binilugan yung papel ng katabi. Hi, ate, pa yung mga papel mo. Bakit? Di mo na binilugan yung instructions. <laughs> Okay, so be careful with the spelling, guys. Okay, you may remove articles. Okay, remove articles a and in the to be safer. All right, you may remove articles A and M the for you to be safer when it comes to the word limit, okay? Be keen with instruction. A lot of people fail their examination because they are not observing the instructions that much, okay? It says, write down the letter for multiple choice. The student encircled the letter for multiple choice. What have you? That's incorrect, okay? So be careful, okay? Be careful with that one. All right, so... Next tip, guys. Tip number four. Oh, this one. Okay. Um, I, I know that you have encountered this, but take a look at my example later on. Okay. Number four. Expect that it will be paraphrased. All right. So, Sir Joseph, what do you mean by it will be paraphrased? Don't expect that the thing that you're seeing on your paper is the exact same thing that you will be hearing, okay, on the examination, okay? No, it's not, okay? It's not. They're going to be paraphrasing it to the best extent that they can so as to ensure that the students are a little bit confused on the exam, okay? So a wide range of vocabulary would be good for this one, okay? So widen your vocabulary, So as to ensure that no matter how hard they try to paraphrase that, you will still get the answer. Okay, let me insert this sample that I made here earlier this afternoon. Uh, is it this one? Nope. Nope. Okay. <clears throat> let's take a look at this one, guys. Okay. So let's have a look, see at this sample right here. Okay, can you see it? All right, let's take a look at number one. <clears throat> okay, the scientists in the study expected the, out, the outcome will be, okay, the scientists in the study expected that the outcome will be, okay, blank. So on the exam, you might hear something like this. When it concerns the researchers, they anticipated that the conclusion of the investigation might be remarkable. When it concerns the researchers, they anticipated that the conclusion of the investigation might be remarkable. That is the end of section two. You now have half a minute to slap your seatmate. Charing. Okay, so. Okay, uh, even Miss Claudia. Yes, capitalize your answers, guys. This one helps, okay? All right. So look at this one, guys. If you're listening, okay, to this example. All right. 
Uh huh. What about ampules versus ampules, pediatrician versus pediatrician, orthopedic versus orthopedic? British and American spelling, they're both accepted on the exam. Okay, so what's the answer for this one? Do I need to repeat the recording? Okay, so focus on the question, guys. Okay, let's repeat the recording. Focus on the question. Okay. When it comes, uh, when it concerns the researchers, they anticipated the conclusion of the investigation might be remarkable. Okay, so what's the answer? The answer for this one is remarkable. Okay, good job. Look at this one, guys. They have paraphrased these words, okay? What are the words that they have paraphrased? The scientists, okay? The scientists, they paraphrased that to researchers, okay? And also the study, The study was paraphrased to investigation. There you go. Expected was paraphrased to anticipated. Outcome was paraphrased to conclusion. Okay. So yeah, this is the number one trick that the IELTS does for you to be confused on the exam as they're going to be paraphrasing it. Guys, can you mute your microphones if you're not asked to speak? Thank you. Okay. All right. There we go. All right. So next one. <clears throat> The park accepts visitors daily and during blank. The park accepts visitors daily and during blank. Okay, so let's take a look at this one. We cater to sightseers every day and even the holidays. We cater to sightseers every day and even the holidays. Okay, let's have a look see at this one. Okay, so it was paraphrased. The park, okay, well, the park did not, was not, um, stated there, but accepts was paraphrased to cater. Okay, visitors was changed to sightseers daily, every day, and even the holidays. Okay, look at that, right? Okay, good job, guys. Good job on getting the answers right there. Okay, what about for the next one? <clears throat> okay, uh, look carefully at this one. This one is a little bit tricky. Okay. The students were blank with their professor, okay? At ease, thankful, happy, or afraid. Those are your choices right there, okay? The students were blank with their professor, okay? At ease, thankful, happy, or afraid, okay? <clears throat> Let's say the recording already played, okay? I wanted to choose between at ease, thankful, happy, or afraid. <clears throat> Well, first of all, we are grateful that you are teaching us. Even if we were scared of you at first, you made us feel comfortable around you. So what's the answer? Sir Joseph, I think it stated everything right there. Okay, I think it stated everything right there. Mm -hmm. What's the answer? What's the last statement that was made? If your answer is, Thankful. Congratulations, guys. You just lost a point. <laughs> you just lost a point. Okay, look at this one. <clears throat> well, first, uh, first of all, we are grateful that you are teaching us, even if we were scared of you at first. You made us feel comfortable around you. So what's the synonym of comfortable? What's the synonym of comfortable? It is at ease. There we go. They are at ease with the professor. Guys, you have to remember, if, the, if, or, if all the choices have been mentioned, the last thing that was mentioned, that's the answer, okay? So be careful with that one on the exam, okay? So yeah, look at that. They were comfortable. That's the direct synonym of the word at ease. Okay, good job, guys. <laughs> Congratulations, you just lost the point. <laughs> All righty. So be careful with the paraphrasing on the exam, okay? Be extremely careful, okay? All right, hold on. Let me just mute. Let me just mute the unmuted. <laughs> okay, so that's the next one, okay? All right, so be careful with paraphrasing. Okay, Sir Joseph, what is the next one? 
Okay. Do not write down things. Okay. Listen only and find the answer. Okay. Some students, they tend to do this on the exam. Okay. On the examination, they tend to write things. Okay. That the recording is saying, don't write down things. Okay. I'm sorry. Let me just check the color that I last used for this one. Okay. Blue. All right. So do this is tip number five. Do not write down things, okay? Just focus on the recording. All right, so some students, they tend to develop this habit of making it a script writing activity, okay? It's not a script writing activity. I can guarantee you that, okay? Do not write down what, do not write down every single word that the recording is saying. Okay. So one thing that you would need to remember is to train yourself to focus, okay, on the flow of what the recording is saying instead of writing it down, okay? Focus on the flow of the recording. Focus on the flow of the recording. Okay, I know Pastor Joseph, no? Avoid Avoid having a flight of ideas. Believe me, lalo na sa section four, when you are already on your section four and then you suddenly flew away, okay? Humiwala yung katawan mo sa uh, kaluluwa mo ng split second. Oh, believe me, you will be lost, okay? So avoid flight of ideas. I had students like this in the past, okay? They were like, sir, the recording played on the third section. And then again, I started thinking of what will I have, what, what will I have for lunch? Diba? Nagpe-play daw yung recording, tapos iniisip pa niya kung anong kakainin niya ng lunch. O ano ka? Diba? Masyado kang gutom. Okay? All right. Be excited to write down your answer without listening to the whole recording. Hot. Tip with the last example you did, Mama D. Diba? Guys, be careful with that, okay? Avoid, okay? Avoid having a flight of ideas, okay? Please, pull yourself back to the recording. Some students, they tend to write everything that the recording is saying. Akala mo nasa korte. Diba? Anong tawag doon yung nasa korte, guys? Yung, ngayon, tira-type-type na lang yun, diba? Tira-type-type na lang. Pero nung araw, sinusuli, stenographer. Diba? Kala mo, stenographer sila. Lahat ng sinabi, maaaring gamitin laban sa kanila. Diba? On the exam, you cannot do that, okay? Alright, you cannot do that on the examination. What you should be doing is you should be focusing on what the recording is saying. Follow the flow of the recording. If the recording stopped, then you better stop thinking. Write it down. That's basically it. Focus on the things that the recording is saying, but don't write down information, okay? Just write down the answer, of course. Okay, so what is the next one? Ooh, this one. Okay, tip number six, guys. Train yourself to only listen to information. To only Take note of the word only, okay? To train yourself to only listen to information you would want to hear. So what does that mean, okay? What does that mean when you are only listening to information that you would want to hear? Basically, focus on the keyword, okay? Focus on the keyword. Okay, and wait for the recording to say that. I have a sample here, okay? We're going to have another fun exercise. Wait for the recording to say that. <clears throat> All right, now let me show you 
the sample that I have that I made here again this afternoon because I'm feeling autistic again this afternoon. So I did things, you know. Not that one. It's this one. <clears throat> okay. So as I have mentioned here, listen to things. Listen only to the things that you would want to hear. Okay, let me zoom in. Okay, let's take a look at the two questions before we go to the recording, okay? All right, let's take a look at the two questions here. Okay, so the first question is, okay, how much did Tony Stark score in the last match, okay? Who is the person that we would need to find in the recording here? Who's that person? We have Tony Stark. Right. This is our keyword right here. That's Tony Stark right there. Okay. All right. Now, how much is the combined score? What's our keyword there? Is it score or the word combined? How much is the combined score? Is it the score or the word combined? Which one is your keyword there? Okay. It is combined. Okay. Now, I I'm going to be challenging you right now, okay? I'm going to be challenging you. Don't look at the script, okay? Don't look at your screen. Just listen to my voice, okay? Follow the sound of my voice. Do not go into the light. <laughs> okay, don't look at the screen, okay? Follow my voice, okay? Don't look into the screen, okay? Don't look, don't look. Looking is cheating, okay? Now, you would need to look for Tony Stark and the word combined, okay? Ready? Okay, everybody look down. Don't look at your screen. <clears throat> the United States of America has won the match with a splendid third wicket partnership between Tony Stark and James Smith. Together, they put on 159 runs in just 20 overs. Stark was unbeaten with 89 runs. Smith, on the other hand, contributed 70 runs to the partnership before being caught at the boundary. That is the end of section one. You now have half a minute to check your work. Okay. Mm. How much did Tony Stark score? Number one, what's your answer? It is 89. Right, Tony Stark scored eighty nine because it says it said here Tony St Stark was unbeaten with eighty nine runs. Okay, whereas <laughs> Mom Gladys, uh, there are two types of microscope: the simple microscope and the compound microscope. The simple microscope is all about. Okay, and then if you're going to put them together, okay, if you're going to put them together, it is the combined score is 159 runs. Okay, there we go. So together they put on 159 runs. If you have written down 159, totally fine. Okay, but if you're going to be looking at the question, if it says, if it says there, runs blank runs okay so you just have to write down the number because if you have written down runs again then it would be 159 runs runs but if it, the question is just like this okay it did not state any okay any runs right there on the question so you may write down 159 runs and 89 runs there you go totally fine okay so look at that train okay train yourself to listen only to the information okay there we go to, to listen only to the information that you would want to listen to on the exam because if you're not so hindi na po respectively hindi na po respectively yung answer sa record ha huh? paano respectively anak yung answer sa recording which one Hindi na po respectively yung answer sa recording. Paano yung respectively, anak? Please expound. <laughs> okay. So yeah, look at that, right? You're going to train yourself to listen only because look at the sample right here. It has a lot of numbers, right? It has a lot of numbers. You have one here. It says third. And then you have 159, 89. And you also have 
Smith, okay, with 70 runs. So if you did not focus, okay, on, if you did not focus on Stark, okay, and the word combined, then of course you might take down things which are unessential for the answer in itself, okay? Ah, uh, hindi ba in order? Sometimes, sometimes it's not, sometimes it's not in order. They're going to say things first before, they're going to say number two first before number one, okay? They're chronological. Sabi ni EJ, remember M, remember E, put them together, remember me. Hala, hala ka EJ, ano nangyayari sa'yo anak? <laughs> Ah, hindi sinasabi in order yung ano. If it's not chronological, sometimes it happens. Sometimes it happens, especially on section 4. Yeah, especially on section 4. Uh, sometimes, guys, they're going to, you're, you're waiting for number 36, okay? And then they're going to state the answer in number 38, okay? And then they will go back to number 36, and then they will go to number 37. So yeah, it's also a trick, okay? It's also a trick that sometimes confuses the students. But if you know exactly what the recording is talking about, it's totally fine. Okay? Painumin ng jubins. Yes, the, the, uh, the, the current drills tends not to be in order. Sometimes, section 2 and section 4, observe nyo yan. Okay? Observe nyo yan. Observe. Believe me. They tend to do that. Okay. All right, guys. So, just commercial. I'll just I just have one happy announcement for each and every one. Okay, <laughs> even ako excited ako dito. Okay, let me just announce this really quick. Okay, so guys, if you're asking a question, is there any program that will focus on your weaknesses on the IELTS? Then of course, my answer to that is focus, 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 focus. Okay, sir, what are you saying focus? Okay, because for those students who already know and they are under this program, guys, I am happy to announce that we are now accepting students again for our review program, which is Elite Focus. Okay, sir, Elite Focus, what's Elite Focus? Parang narinig ko na yan before. Narinig ko na yan before, sir. Yung Elite Focus po ba, is that the program that helps the student to focus on their weaknesses first on the examination before they go to the actual review? Exactly. This is Elite Focus, guys, and it's back this 2022. Like Elite Ops, Elite Focus is making a comeback and we're accepting 20 students for Elite Focus. So, Here's what Elite Focus is. Before you go to your actual review, okay? Before you go to your actual review, there will be a bonus review period before, okay? With which, if you have the luxury of time to prepare, diba? why rush if you can develop significantly? Halimbawa, you are a student and you're quite weak when it comes to your speaking, okay? So we're going to focus on your speaking first. And then you said, sir, you know what? I'm actually weak with writing. We're going to focus on your writing first. And then once you're ready, that's the time that you will go to the review proper. This one right here, guys, believe me, it takes like months para makapag-release kami ng students at Elite Focus because we ensure that the students are strong with their IELTS capacity before they go to the actual review. Kaya ito, guys, um, we only accept 20 students for Elite Focus because we would want to focus on those students, okay? So, sir, what are the inclusions of Elite Focus? Well, focus on your weaknesses on the IELTS, a program designed to look at the weaknesses and turn them into your new strengths. Unlimited review for life, even if your exam in, uh, expires, like two years from now, you took the exam, the expired exam mo, balik ka lang sa Elite Intellect, walang bayad ang review mo. Okay, unlimited one-on-one -on -one coaching, unlimited assessment, Okay, and mock examinations, flexible schedule with recorded discussions, free preparation book and writing compilation, the first to deliver computer delivered mock test and free pre-assessment and final assessment. Plus, of course, free mentoring with Mama D. Yes, I do actually mentor the students like really. Some of them are pretty much afraid when it's my turn to mentor them. But why be afraid? Okay. I'm your mama, okay? I can tell you 
things that other people are not seeing. Okay, so if you're wondering, Sir Joseph, how much is Elite Focus? Since we are at IFNG, I am giving away the exclusive 2,500 discount for IFNG students only. Okay, and if you're watching this video right now, you may send a message on our Facebook page and say Elite Focus IFNG. That is our um, promo code. Okay, Elite Focus IFNG. So instead of paying 7,500 for your unlimited review, you're you're only going to pay 4999 that's lifetime validity enroll at elite focus now okay so sir i want to inquire about elite focus because i would want to be i would want to look at my weaknesses first before i go to the actual review so you may send a message at our facebook page just search elite intellect nine or check the chat box here at zoom sir jello and mom genji has sent you guys the link of elite intellect nine they're the main branch and also if you're if you are watching us via facebook live Check the comment section right there. Ati Genji and Sir Kale has sent you guys the link of Elite Intellect there so that you may send a message and inquire about Elite Focus. Again, okay, the, the, the promo code is IFNG Elite Focus. Okay, IFNG Elite Focus. Okay, so I'll see you guys in class very, very soon. Talaga naman, pagka sinabing Elite Focus kasi guys, ang gagawin muna namin dyan, bububugin ka muna namin bago ka namin pakawalan doon sa actual review. So sir, how long uh, how long is the review for Elite Focus? Well, it depends on your progress, really. This is a common question with Elite Focus is that if you are, if you are a student, okay, if you are a student who is slow with development, okay, some students, they take like six months, okay, all in all, Elite Focus does the review, but if you are a fast learner and you're really willing to work, believe me, I have released students at Elite Focus in less than two months or three months, okay, so just send a message to our Facebook page right now to inquire about Elite Focus. And I'll see you in class very, very soon. All right, guys. Mahal talaga ni Mama Gwan ang IFNG students. Oo naman. Super yan. Alam mo yan. Is it available for people outside the Philippines? Yes, Mark. Yes. I have a lot of students in UAE, KSA, Canada, Italy, UK, USA, uh, UK, Okay, and also in Singapore, Hong Kong, lahat actually. No, kasi flexible schedule tayo. Okay, I want to admit myself for this program. Please, thank you, sabi ni Kat. <laughs> okay, guys. So yeah, Elite Focus, guys, we're working hard towards achieving your goals on the IELTS exam. So inquire now because we only have 20 students who will be fortunate enough to be a part of Elite Focus. And see you in class very, very soon. Okay, so... Let, I'm just going to drink water real quick while I'm drinking water, guys, before we move on to tip number seven, eight, and nine, the most important tips, okay? Don't miss this one. Ate Gansh, Ate Dragon, any tips for them when it comes to the listening examination? Oh, hi, Mother D. Hi, everyone. So this is your sister, Dragon. This is your Ate Genji. So I would like to say hi to our 140 viewers on Facebook and um. 70 Zoom participants, and also hi to our I, I, IFNG admins, Mr. M, Sir Manuel, Mom G, and Ma Mitch, and also to Sir Jeff. Uh, excuse me for not opening my calm. I'm, un, uh, my, I'm under the weather, and I don't look and feel good. Sabi nga po nila, pag wala kang sakit sa panahong ito, hindi ka taga planetang Earth. Ikaw ay isang alien. I am not an alien. I am an earthling who finds the listening examin examination onerous. Okay, so what did I do po to the overcome this? Well, I, what I did was do the listening practice test every day. Choose those that are quite hard. If you get used to answering difficult conversation questions, eventually you may find the actual listening exam easy because you were used to answering difficult ones. And another thing, uh, my mind tends to wander. I get out of focus easily. So what can we do about this one? Well, I use the technique that Mother D taught us last Friday, and that is use the underline, uh, use underline for verbs, double underline for context, and encircle for the nouns. For when I use both my mind and my hands at the same time, there is no chance for my mind to wonder. So yung po yung two tips na I can share with you with uh, listening examination kasi uh, I find it hard po. Kung kayo po na dadali, na medyo madali sa inyo ang listening examination, it's not for me. Nahihirapan ako doon. Okay, so here is our ever beautiful and ever gorgeous Mother D. Thank you, Mother. 
Thank you so much, Ate Gensh. Nahirapan daw siya sa listening. Eh, ang taas ng score niya doon. <laughs> Yes, Ate Genji is one of my perfect, uh, one of my best scorers on the listening, reading, writing, and speaking of the IELTS, believe me. Okay, so yeah, if I'm going to be, all right, so uh, yeah, for those of you guys who are interested with Elite Focus, you may send a message on our Facebook page, okay? Click the link that Sir Je- Kael, Jello, Gael, and Genji Jimenez sent there and send a message to our Facebook page for you to inquire or to reserve a slot for your Elite Focus. Again, 20 students lang po, ah. Huwag niyo kong patayin. Okay, so let's start. Sinasabi, sinasabi ko sa'yo, Madam Genji, bawal ang mapagpanggap. <laughs> Diba? Okay. I need focus, Mama D. My momentum dwindled. Attending your listening class is a start. Oh, that's good, Kat. Si Kat Q ba to? Go. Okay. Mama D, pag po write a word and or a number ang instruction, meaning po ba doon sa number, isa lang ang whole number or pwede po more than? Actually, it's taken as a unit. So let's say 113, it's taken as one unit of a number. So it's counted as one. Okay. Mam Gladys, mahirap po talaga nag-aaral lang po. Okay, so let's continue. What's my next tip for you guys? Diba? Ang dami-dami yung natututunan tonight. Okay, ooh, this one. I believe in this. And a lot of students also believe in this from the beginning. Believe me, guys, okay? Here, observe this on your listening exam. This is tip number seven, okay? The tonality gives it away. Okay, guys, one thing that you would need to remember is on the IELTS examination, answers are designed, okay, answers are designed to be stated loudly and clearly okay they have been designed to be stated loudly and clearly okay so if the speaker is way too fast if the speaker is way too fast or the speaker choose the words okay ninunguya yung sinasabi Okay, the speaker choose the words. The answer is never there. Okay, the answer is never there. Listen to the word that will be stated clearly and loudly on the exam. Okay, the tonality always gives it away. There's this particular tone that you would need to listen to. That's why I would want you guys to, uh, I would want you guys to, uh, what do you call this, listen to um, examination or listening recordings. And I want you to, uh, what do you call this, I want you to, uh, I want you to listen to that carefully and get used to it, okay? Haha, <laughs> winner, madam. Yan ang result ng hard work. True, guys. You know what? I'm talking here in the group chat with Ate Genji because, yes, she has difficulties with listening before. And she took the examinations. So she was able to get like an exceedingly commendable score with listening. And she said that she practiced. That's actually true, guys. Practice. Practice doesn't make perfect, okay? I don't believe in perfect, okay? Practice doesn't make perfect, but practice makes it usual, Okay, practice makes it usual or you practice makes you used to the situation. So you get used to writing, listening, reading, and speaking. At the end of the day, it's a skill. So you would need to get used to it. Okay, all right. So let's take a look at this sample that I made here for the tonality gives it away. Okay, where are you? Okay, so listen carefully. Look at this one, guys. There is a sample. Um, there is a sample here and also question questions okay i would want you to look at the question okay the students will be attending a blank the students will be attending a blank number two blank will form the judges blank will form the judges number three the most blank will win the most blank will win okay so don't look at my beauty again okay don't look at my beauty okay don't look at my beauty look at the question okay there we go all right ready 
Okay, the students will be attending a blank. <clears throat> On the 3rd of February, all students are expected, well, required to participate in a literary competition. What's the answer? On the 3rd of February, all students are expected, well, required to participate on a literary competition. Literary competition. Look at that. The recording will state literary competition as clearly as possible so that you will be able to get it okay all right second example there will be esteemed guests the mayor of this town the senator and supporters if i might add the famous authors will be the critics what's the answer for number two again let me read that again okay number two blank will form the judges okay <clears throat> There will be esteemed guests, the mayor of this town, the senator, and supporters. If I might add, the famous authors will be the critics. What's the answer? It is famous authors, right? Famous authors, right? It's the famous authors who will be the judge. Okay, very good. Number three, guys. <clears throat> okay, there are factors to win a the most blank will win. The most blank will win. Okay, listen carefully. The most blank will win. <clears throat> there are factors to win the competition, style, genre, vocabulary, and note delivery. But the most organized will be victorious in the end. There are factors to win the competition, style, genre, vocabulary, and note delivery. But the most organized will be victorious in the end. It is organized. Very good, guys, right? Okay, so yeah, look at that. You would need to listen to the thing that is the clearest among all. It's perspicuous, believe me. When they state answers on the listening exam, it's designed to be stated as clearly as possibly as they can, all right? So yeah. Listen to that. Listen to that tonality. Get used to listening to that tonality. Okay, now, next one. Well, I call this the write and scrap strategy. Okay, let's take a look at my next tip, which is tip number eight. Almost there, guys. Okay, write and scrap strategy. Okay, if... Okay, if the recording changes the statement or if the speaker changes the statement, okay, the answer is the last thing mentioned. Okay, this is the number one trick that the IELTS does, okay, to confuse the student is they, they are fond of changing the answer. Sometimes they're going to be changing it once, but sometimes they change it twice, three times, four times. Yeah, it happens, right? Okay, so what you should do is to write down the incorrect answer first. Okay, and then scrap it if it was changed. Okay, and then change it to the correct one. Okay, so listen. Halimbawa, there are two people conversing about the new phone. Okay. <clears throat> oh. You know what, Joanne? I am so excited because I have brought myself, I have, I have bought myself a new phone. The phone that I bought is an iPhone 13 Pro Max. Okay, so what's the phone that she bought? <clears throat> okay, so she said it's an iPhone 13 Pro Max. Right? She said it's an iPhone 13 Pro Max. Oh, silly me. It was not an iPhone 13. Sorry, I don't know things about phones, but it's a Samsung. 
Okay, so she changed it to a Samsung, right? She changed it to Samsung. So you're going to scrap that. Okay, you're going to change that to Samsung. Oh no, I am so sorry again, Joanne. It is not a Samsung. It was a Cherry Mobile. <laughs> Kanunday na sa recording. <laughs> Cherry mobile yung binili. <laughs> so, what is it that she has bought? Right? It's Cherry Mobile. Right? Okay, this is not a paid endorsement. Okay? Koy, aminin nyo. Sa tarang buhay nyo, nagka-Cherry Mobile kayo. Yung parang calculator nyo, yung maliit, ginagawa nyo dirty phone. <laughs> diba? Kala nyo, hindi ko alam yung mga galawan nyo ng mga kabataan, ha? Diba? Nagkaroon ng cherry mobile, yung maliit, yung parang calculator yung itsura. Diba? 900 lang ba yun? Or 800? Or 500? Bibili nun, tapos, dun itchat-chat yung mga hindi dapat, dun itchat-text yung mga hindi dapat, itext. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> Listen to that, right? Nokia. Boy, I love Nokia. Hindi ba? Yung Nokia kahit ipam kahit mag-touching ka, lalo na yung 3310 nung araw saka 5110, right? Did you remember Nokia 5110 and 3310? Drop it from the fourth floor of the building. I dare you. Okay? Drop it. It will go down unscattered. <laughs> Diba? Buong-buo pa rin. Tapos yung cherry mobile na may TV. Yung kapag... <laughs> yung ano, may, may hinihilang antena. <laughs> Tapos manunood ka lang TV doon. <laughs> Tapos ang, ang pakit ang signal. Excuse me, nung panahon namin kapag ka naka-space impact ka, mayaman ka, di ba? <laughs> Kasi walang space impact yung 5110. <laughs> Snake lang. <laughs> Hinga, wait lang. Oh. Wait. <laughs> di ba? Nung mga bata tayo, Pag naka-space impact ka na pag trum, 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 trum. Gawa ganun, ganun yung cellphone mo. Mayaman ka. Pero pag crack, gawa ganun lang. Ay, snake yan. Naka-51 ten. Kapag ka yung snake mo, kapag ka yung snake mo, hindi lumulusod sa pader. Naka-51 ten ka. <laughs> Ano kape mo ngayon, Mama D? Cobra. <laughs> Hindi, Sting. <laughs> sting energy drink. Okay, I think we have a question here from Jero Galvez. Okay, sir, sa ang part po gagawin you write in scrap? You mentioned po kasi na do not write down things po. Ah, yeah. I mean, yes, you're going to be writing down the answers, my love. You're going to do it on all the parts of the listening. But if the answer was changed, okay, if the answer was changed, just scrap it and then write down the correct answers right there. Okay, eto na naman, puro kinakabag after lang live, love it. <laughs> Aminin nyo yan. <laughs> yung ginawa mong life goals, yung pangurekta ng Nokia nung araw, di ba? In Nokia phones, remember, the smaller you have, the richer you are, right? Um, when we were younger, the smaller the phone, the richer we are, right? <laughs> 82.15. Mama, di nagulat ako sa shift ng mood. <laughs> I told you I'm a bipolar. <laughs> okay, let's continue. <sighs> Okay, so guys, remember with write and scrap strategy, what I would want you to fathom there is for you to um, write down the incorrect one first, and then if the recording changed it, <laughs> you would need to write down the correct answer so as to ensure that you're getting 
that you're accurate with that. Sir, is it the second statement or the third statement or the fourth statement? It's the last statement. No matter how many times they change it, okay? No matter how many times they change it, believe me, okay? You would need to write down the last statement made, okay? That's always the last statement. <laughs> 83 -10. Okay. Ay, nako, Diyos ko. Itawa mo muna yan, Mama. Di, hindi, kaya ko to. Kaya ko to, anak. <laughs> Lalo ko kasi yung space impact. Yung mga ipagsapakan ka pa sa kapatid mo. Kasi na-out na siya. Ayaw ko pa niyang patrahin. <laughs> Ay. <clears throat> Sorry, excuse my energy. Sir, are you like that at Elite Intellect all the time? Yes, we do love reminiscing things at Elite Intellect, including gumamela, the one that you used when you were younger, you know? When you don't have money to buy bubbles, you use the, the hibiscus flower to be your bubbles. Okay, tip number nine. <clears throat> all right, guys, so nine tip, okay? Predict. the answers. I'm not saying for you to guess the answers, okay? I would want you to predict, pre predict. <laughs> I would want you to predict the fitting answers, okay? I want you to predict the fitting answers. Okay. All right. So on the examination, guys, I want you to predict what would be fitting for the question itself. Okay. So you can actually try to guess, okay, if it would be a noun, verb, adjective, or adverb. Okay. Again, try to guess if what's fitting would be a noun. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm so sorry. I just saw this one at the comment section of um, at the comment section of IFNG's live right now. Um, someone said, get the following certificates listed below, so blah, 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 without taking the exam. There's no such thing. That is a scam. Okay, that is a scam. There's no such thing as a leak question on the IELTS examination on the NCLEX OET. Guys, don't be gullible with these people. They're just going to take your money and then what have you after that. That is a scam, okay? Um, warning, guys, don't send a message to these, okay? People who are sending phishing comments here, get the following certificates listed below something, something. NCLEX IELTS PTA OET leak questions, there's no such thing. Okay, there's no such thing as leak questions on the IELTS. That is clearly a scam. It's S C A M scam. So be careful with these scams. Okay, be a smart consumer. One thing that I would want you to remember. And for the scammers, please, could you please do something valuable with your life instead of scamming people? Okay, all right. <clears throat> all righty. So you try to guess if that is a noun. A verb, okay, an adjective, or an adverb. Yeah, scammers are not welcome here at IFNG. So scammers, you may scoot, okay, skedaddle. We don't need you here, okay? The students are interested in learning, and there's no such thing as a shortcut to success. There's no such thing as a leak question, leak something. The only thing that leaks is the faucet, okay? Not the exam, all right? Yeah, better. Stop what you're doing. Okay. <clears throat> so, okay, noun, verb, adjective, or adverb. Of course, noun is the name of a person, right? A place, thing, emotion, anything, okay? All right. And our noses. Yeah, our noses are leaking at the moment. Okay. So a verb, on the other hand, is a word which denotes an action. So you try to guess if it's fitting there. An adjective or an adverb. An adjective describes the noun. The adverb describes the manner of the verb. Okay, let's take a look at this one, guys. Let's take a look at this sample that I made here. Okay, predict the answers, okay? I would want you to look at these questions right here and try to guess, okay? What would be fit fitting for these questions, okay? All right, so let's take a look at the first one. <clears throat> Milford Academy focuses on the blank, uh, focuses on blank, focuses on blank the students, okay? So, all right. 
So again, guys, have just a public service announcement for the watchers of IFNG right now. If you see things on the comment section which says get leak questions, something, something on the IELTS, OET, NCLEX, PTE, whatever that is, there's no such thing, okay? There's no such thing as leak questions on the IELTS, PTE, OET, okay? I already know a lot of students who were victimized by these people, Okay, they contacted them and then they sent a message to those people. And then after paying, what have you, they sent a fake certificate or either, okay, they're going to send you a fake certificate or they're going to be, uh, what they call this, give, not, not responding to you anymore. Okay, so be a smart watcher, be a smart consumer. Okay, I want you guys to be keen with these type of people. Okay, we don't support scammers here at IFNG. Okay. <clears throat> But we support dragons here. Okay, so what is it? Is it a noun, verb, adjective? Okay. So look at this one. Milford Academy focuses on blank the students. Okay, so it could be on a verb. Okay, maybe that's a verb right there. Okay, maybe what's fitting here is a verb. Okay, what about the other one? Blank is needed for the study. What's number two? Okay, let's try to guess number two. Blank is needed for the study. <clears throat> okay, so it could be a noun or it could be a verb too. Okay, what about number three? <clears throat> Mary thinks that Joe is blank. Mary thinks that Joe is blind. Oh my gosh, who's the noun here, right? It's Joe. So maybe we're looking for an adjective here. Mary thinks that Joe is a scammer. <laughs> okay. All right, next one. It is expected for the students to finish their research blank. It is expected for the students to finish their research blank. Okay, so this one could be an adverb, right? It could be an adverb. Okay, and then for number five, the blank is specific for those who qualified. The blank is specific for those who qualified. Okay, it could be a noun. All right. And then the last question right there. Kiki, do you love me? Blank that the study is biased. Kiki, do you love me? Blank that the study is biased. Okay, what is it? Oh, it could be a verb. Okay, whatever. Kiki, do you love me? Blank. Okay, so listen to the recording. I'm going to pretend to be, I'm going to pretend to be the recording again. And I would want you guys to listen carefully and try to get the answers for the questions. Okay. <clears throat> Welcome everyone. My name is Joseph. Welcome to Milford Academy. We focus here on honing the students. Well, first of all, you would need, okay, what's the answer there? We focus here on honing. Very good. Okay, honing the students. Okay, for number two. <clears throat> well, you guys know that you're going to be having a research by the end of the semester. Well, a reference book would be required for the study. What's number two? Reference book, okay, reference book. Good job, guys. Okay, number three. Well, as Mary has stated earlier, one of our new students, Joe, is peculiar. Number three. The answer is peculiar, right? Peculiar is weird, unusual. There you go, so it's an adjective. Okay, <clears throat> well. One thing that we would want you guys to remember when it comes to your research is you would need to finish the research swiftly. One thing that we would want you guys to remember for your research is you would need to finish the research swiftly. Okay, what's the answer? 
swiftly. Okay, good job. And for number five, <clears throat> the study is very much particular for those who are qualified for it. And as stated by Ms. Kiki Duyalabni, she thinks that the study is biased. Okay. Right, so number five and six, guys, what's the answer? Study, okay, Kiki, do you love me? Thinks, she thinks, okay. My S yun, guys, be careful with that one. Make sure that your answers are grammatically fitting. Okay, look at that, right? Good job. Akala ko ba you're not good in listening? You guys are actually really good when it comes to listening. I love what I'm seeing here because a majority of you were able to get the answers for the questions correctly. Okay, so what's the secret to an everlasting smile? Okay, because I get asked of this one a lot of times. Okay, Sir Joseph, why are you always smiling? Okay, so here's my secret. Look at this one. I sought to the Lord and he answered me and delivered me from my fears. Those who look to him are radiant and their faces shall never be ashamed. This is from the book of Psalms 34, uh, uh, verse, uh, verse 4 to 5. Okay, look at that, right? For you to have that radiant smile, okay? Or for your face not to be ashamed, you always have to look for the Lord because he will deliver you from your fears. You will become radiant, okay? And of course, your face shall never be ashamed. Okay, guys. So quickly, guys, let's pray for each and every one of you who are here right now, okay? <clears throat> Heavenly Father, we would like to thank you, Lord God, for another opportunity to teach the students on the IELTS examination, as well as, of course, for us to glorify your name through your words that we have shared today. Father, bless the students who are preparing for their examination, and as, of course, bless the admins of IFNG for them to always be guided and to be protected always because they are doing good in the society, my Father. Lord, thank you for the new students of Elite Intellect and which find, who found their way. This is our prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, you're welcome, everyone. Okay, so for those of you guys who would want to inquire for elite for our elite focus program and you would want to admit yourself to elite focus program please do send a message to our facebook page that's elite intellect 9.0 okay please search the main page which is the cabinet to one city branch okay guys so again before i return this one to all our to our admins for tonight you're welcome everyone i had fun tonight and i'll see you again next week okay <clears throat> say ano sabi ni maria Ikaw na talaga, Sir Joseph. You're the best. Oh, thank you so much, Maria Rowena. God bless, anak. Okay, so I'll see you guys next week here again at IFNG. Same time, same place, guys. Hashtag no to scammers, okay? If you're going to inquire for our program, please make sure that you're inquiring at Elite Intellect 9 and not those people who are just sending their, who are fishing for clients at the comment section, okay? So again, just search Elite Intellect 9.0 on Facebook, okay? Or you may take a screenshot of these for our information. You may also click the link that they have sent there. At again, she has sent it there on the comment section. And Sir Jello will send it right now on the comment section of our live on Facebook. And of course, it's also here at Zoom. Okay, so before we end this, in behalf of the staff of Elite Intellect 9, this is your Mama Dragon. And I'll see you again next week, same time, same place here at IFNG. And I'm sending my love to you from the Philippines. God bless you guys and I love you all. Bye guys. I have NG admits back to you. Thank you, Father D. Once again for that very lively discussion. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Miss Michelle. Thank you, IFNG squad. Thank you, Elite Thank you. Squad. So mom. <laughs> See you. See you, see you. Bye, guys. God bless you Bye. all. Bye. Good night, everyone. Thank you. <laughs>